Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I feel like I have just run full circle because look what I'm looking at right now. This is going to trip you out. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, because see, some of y'all think you can talk however you want to talk. You can do whatever you want to do because you got the name of Jesus, baby. And Jesus is looking at you like, I never knew you. And you don't think that's going on because you said the sinner's prayer. Ding. And you carry a Bible under your arm. And you go to church, and you even have a cross somewhere. Oh, so you advertise for him once in a while. Isn't that nice? Yeah. But this is what he says through James, chapter 1, verse 25 through 27. This will be the end of this chapter before we move on to chapter 2. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, <clears throat> he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you seem to be religious, and bridleth not his tongue, Pat's two cents, bridle means control that bad boy. If any man among you seem to be religious and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth him his own heart, this man's religion, I didn't say it, he said it, this man's religion is vain. Now, I can't make it any plainer than that. I'm not even going to explain that one away. 27. Pure religion. And undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. How much plainer do I have to put that? You're playing selfies, you're caught up in Beyonce and all of these famous people and you're, you're glued to the tube watching TV morning, noon, and night and you're playing all kind of video games and you're, you're caught up in tarot cards and psychics and, 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 and uh, paranormal movies and, and, and X-rated movies and cussing movies and, and cursing movies that are full of curses and, and, and satanic nonsense and, and you play with the dark side and you, you, you date God and you screw the devil and you just, you live on the edge, on the edge, on the edge and you think God is altogether okay because you said the sinner's prayer. Sorry, Charlie. God doesn't play by those rules. He said it plain. To keep himself unspotted from the world. Do you know there are born again Christians who have gone to the extreme, and I don't call it extreme as a negative. They're doing everything they can to keep nonsense out of their spirit. See, if you hear cussing day in, day out, morning, noon, night, guess what's going to start flying out of your mouth? Because that like a computer, input, output. If you're looking at people kissing and feeling and touching and screwing and they're in the bed and they're out of the bed and there were Tom, Dick and Harry, Mary, Sue and Jane and this one's wife and that one's husband and they're doing all that before you know it every time you hear a good love song. Woo wee. Woo. Get hot in here. Whew. Got to have me a little loving. <laughs> been without for three months now. I've been good and celibate. The Lord just got to understand. Whew. Baby Cake's got some needs here. Needs some attention. Really. <laughs> Boy, the stuff we want God to cohabit with. The nasty sins of ours that we think God should be okay with. 
that shows me that what the Bible says in, in, uh, in the book of Psalms, there is no fear of God. That's a bad place to be.